Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to actually increase your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 3 with a brand new tool and some extra CMD comments, which are super easy to apply just to make sure that you guys get maximum FPS and the least amount of input delay in Fortnite Chapter 3. And if you guys enjoyed this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So yeah guys, and in today's video, I actually want to show you a brand new method on how to boost your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 3. And we just got a new updated version of the Automotive Windows Tweaker, which can also tweak your network settings. So therefore guys, this is going to be insane. You can find this program, by the way, super easy in the first link in the description. Just simply join my Discord, guys, and there you can find it, you know. And if you can't find it on the Discord, just simply ask in the chat, guys. It's not that hard. There are like so many mods online. And once you get it, you're actually on your desktop, guys. Just simply open it up, and there we can already see it. Automotive Windows Tweaker. 5.0 the newest version we're just simply gonna launch it and it's gonna tell you in the first place here your specs and everything but what we want to focus around is performance in the first place and there guys I would just simply recommend you to copy all of my settings here auto end no responsive programs restart shell automatic after some error turn off search indexer increase priority of IRQA disable smooth scrolling disable edge tab preloading those are all just like I don't know like some visual effects on your windows which can actually cost you so much RAM guys and CPU power so please make sure to actually copy all of these here disable windows time services disable tablet input services disable windows security center services disable prefetch services super important for temporary data which are just simply getting created on your PC you know they're just slowing down your PC so therefore guys please make sure to actually put this off here disable super fetch services also temporary data then you can see a disable printer spooling service if you're using a printer on your PC um, keep it on for me personally I don't so therefore yeah I'm just gonna put the check here I just want to mention this because some people uh, were mentioning this on discord that they couldn't print anything anymore and disable Microsoft Edge preloading super important and yeah guys once we're done here guys we're just gonna click here onto apply tweaks it should just like refresh your screen real quick and everything should be applied 100% now and in this next step guys what are we going to do now is we're going to click here onto additional and there we can see already network tweaks and this is also super super nice guys just simply make sure to copy all of my settings here again enable the network adapter onboard processor restrict access over anonymous connections disable recent shares in network places disable default admin and disk driver share server then you can see also here hide entire network from network neighborhood prevent network auto discovery hide computer from the browser list set global network internet offline Super important guys, just simply apply all of these here, then we're gonna click here onto apply tweaks. And now you also fully optimize your network settings and yeah guys, it's just super nice that this is all built here into this program, super easy to use. And yeah, with that said, we're already done here guys, we're gonna click here actually onto close and you will see now, since you have applied tweaks, we recommend you that you should restart your PC for some changes to take place, although it's not necessarily. And yeah, with that said, guys, I would recommend you to just simply real quick actually restart your PC before we're gonna go further here with this tutorial. And in this next step, guys, I'm just going to show you how you can actually lift up the usage of your virtual memory on your PC in a few simple CMD comments, guys, nothing too complicated. And I'm just gonna put these here actually in the description of the video. And we can see it in the first place that we have behavior, query, memory usage. And what we're gonna do now is go into a Windows search bar and just simply type in comment prop, right click on it and actually run it as an administrator. Now we're gonna paste this comment actually in there and it should probably say for your memory usage zero or one guys, these are like the um, normal ones, you know, the default ones. But what we're actually going to do now is we're gonna set it to two, which pretty much means that our PC is able to utilize maximum of it. And you can see now memory usage two, status successful, a reboot is required for this change to take effect. So therefore guys, once you're done with that, you're already done. You're now utilizing maximum VRAM on your Windows PC. This works for Windows 10 and Windows 11, super easy comments. And if you wanna revert it, you're just simply gonna apply the same comment here guys and type in zero or one again and you should be chilling. And now you're just simply gonna restart your PC actually real quick. And yeah guys, as you can see, here we're actually right now in Fortnite and you can also see already here with the character that I'm actually not running the performance mode anymore because there are way better settings to get maximum FPS and the least amount of input delay in Fortnite. And what I'm talking about is pretty much DirectX 12 with the Nvidia Reflex low latency mode set to on plus boost. I literally provided you guys with tons of benchmarks in the latest video. I'm just gonna link it in the description and also put it on the little info icon, you know, so you can just 
check it out if you want some more proof that actually this mode gives you the least amount of input delay. Like with the other ones, I got around like 10 milliseconds and with this one, I got only eight milliseconds. So therefore guys, actually DirectX 12 is way better in chapter three than the performance mode because I even also compared it with the performance mode. You know, you can still like glitch here this Nvidia Reflex low latency mode on performance mode and DirectX 11 and on DirectX 12, it gave me the least amount of latency. So therefore these are really like the best settings you can right now get guys. You can just simply straight up copy them here if you want. Um, for the resolution, just simply utilize whichever you want. Um, yeah, the next up, guys, you can see a graphics, colorblind doesn't really matter here. And yeah, there you can see it, guys. Uh, viewing distance, I actually got here onto near. I usually, when I try to play like arena or stuff like that, I'm gonna put it on medium at least for the competitive advantage. Um, then next up, we have shadows off, of course, textures low, effects low, post processing low. Then we're gonna move on here, guys. V Sync, I do have G Sync on my monitor, so therefore I don't utilize it. If you have any sort of sync technology in your monitor built in, don't utilize V Sync. Motion Blur, of course, off. Show FPS on DirectX 12 Beta. Allow multi thread rendering, super important. If you have multiple cores on your CPU, definitely turn this on. Something above like four cores, you know, therefore multiple um, multi thread rendering turned on. Use GPU crash debugging turned off because it's just like a service giving like Epic Games some data if your game crashes, but it's actually causing you so much stutter, guys. So therefore, please don't leave it on. Then we can see here latency markers off NVIDIA reflex low latency mode on on and boost latency flash off and dlss on performance if you're running an rtx card you need like a, a little bit more up-to-date gpu you know something like an rtx 2060 up until a 3080 uh, 3090 you know to run this and i gotta say this mode actually brings a lot with dlss and yeah for the rest you can also just like copy it here ray tracing of course turned off and with that said, you already get the best settings here actually on Fortnite guys for maximum FPS and the least amount of input delay. Yo guys, and I pretty much just wrote yesterday the giveaway of the Echo 3061 with Gatoron green switches. And yeah, I promised you guys after the giveaway, I'm gonna give away another keyboard. And this is also Echo keyboard. It's super Fortnite gang gang, as you can see here. Echo 3087 V2 boys. Amazing build quality. Like I don't even know what to say. Echo has such a great build quality for the price. I mean, just take a look at this. Like, bro, there's so much quality actually in this keyboard. I'm, I'm not getting like anything guys out of this. Yeah, like this is like my honest opinion. Echo keyboards, super nice. And this one here has Gatoron orange switches. I'm quite sure not a lot of people actually knew that these switches exist, but just listen, no rattle or anything. Just overall really nice build quality, super solid. And yeah, all you guys gotta do is just simply follow me here on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube and comment down below here under this Twitter post why you actually wanna win it and repost it. Like it's gonna be all in the info box, I know. And yeah, if you wanna win this uh, keyboard and be super Fortnite gang gang, I mean, why not? It's a nice free keyboard and good luck. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too light. Big four, come get inside. Gucci, Link, come take a dive. Kill that shit, but just don't kill the vibe. Yeah. We the ones they talking about